Hi everybody, we will be starting with equation of a line and in this chapter we will be covering uh, formulas and then starting with the questions. First is slope or gradient of a line. It is denoted by the letter M. For angle of inclination the slope is equal to tan theta. Whenever there is a value given like theta is equal to 45 degree. This is the angle of inclination and you have to find out the slope. So in this case m is equal to tan theta. That means tan 45 which is equal to 1. You have to learn the uh, table of tan and uh, you can also revise other trigonometric ratios. I'll just tell you for tan theta now the value is 0 degree, 30 degree 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. This is 0, 1 by root 3, 1, root 3 and then infinity. So I would like to tell you about this maths ebook which has chapter wise handwritten notes. All formulas are covered and expected solved questions are there. If I show you the format of this, you can see the notes are provided along with expected pra uh, practice questions. Link is in the description box if you want to purchase these ebooks. Subjects are biology, PYQs, and then we have uh, chemistry, PYQs, and uh, computer full syllabus, chemistry, all reactions, ebook, maths, and then uh, other ebooks, physics, all formulas. Now, uh, the second part is this was for angle of inclination. Second part is for line passing through two points and we have coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2. So in this case, the slope will be, the slope of this line will be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay. It can be y1 minus y2 divided by x1 uh, minus x2. Both are accepted. Moving on to the third part that is uh, for line of equation ax plus by plus c, uh, c equal to 0, the slope is minus a by b. For example, I have this line 2x plus 3y minus uh, 6 is equal to 0. We will uh, find out the slope like this. So this will be 6 by 3 minus 2 by 3 x this is the long procedure you can directly put the values in this slope formula and get it but i will just tell you the long one 2 by 3 x so here m will be minus 2 by 3 all right a b minus 2 by 3 so slope is minus 2 by 3 moving on to equation of line in slope intercept form slope intercept This is y is equal to mx plus c. Now uh, m is the slope and c is the y-intercept. Okay. B part is slope point form. So the equation here is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 where m is slope and x1 y1 is the point they will give you the coordinates like minus 2 comma 3 or uh, any other coordinate so this is x1 and this is y1 okay c part is two points form now in this case the equation is y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 where x1 y1 and x2 y2 these are the two points through which line pass now there is this note equation of x axis is y equal to 0 and for equation of y axis we have x equal to 0. 
and if we talk about x is equal to a let us take a rough graph x is equal to a that means uh, for example this is 1 2 this is minus 1 minus 2 and then 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 if we take x is equal to 2 we will have uh, a straight line that is parallel to y axis right so x is equal to a means equation of line parallel to y axis all right i gave you an example i took the value of a equal to 2 and so we get a line parallel to y axis now for x is equal to minus a we will have a line parallel to y axis and it is a units towards its left hand side so we will have um, this uh, line somewhere here for y is equal to a equation of line parallel to x axis and for y is equal to minus a we have a line parallel to x axis again but it is a units uh, below it now case 1 and case 2 you can see there are these two lines which are mutually perpendicular to each other so the slopes will be um, the product of slopes will be equal to minus 1 m1 that is slope of this line m2 that is the slope of this line when we take the product we get uh, this answer equal to minus 1 okay when two lines are parallel to each other then the slopes are equal that is m1 is equal to m2 we will be doing some examples and this will be clear to you the vertices of triangle abc are given here and we have to find out the slope so first part is find slope of uh, bc let's see how we will do it solution slope of bc now b is minus 1 comma 2 and c is 6 comma minus 6 so this will be x1 y1 and this will be x2 y2 the formula of slope m is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 we will be putting the values minus 6 minus 2 divided by uh, 6 plus 1 since 6 minus minus 1 is plus 1 the answer is minus 8 by 7 now second part is equation of a line parallel uh, perpendicular to bc and passing through a that means okay so we found out the slope of bc that is minus 8 by 7 right m of bc and we have to find out the equation of a line perpendicular to bc m1 is minus 8 by 7 for perpendicular line the condition is m1 into m2 equal to minus 1 so minus 8 by 7 multiply m2 is equal to minus 1 so i'll get uh, m2 equal to 7 by 8 and passing through a here x1 y1 will be 3 comma 8 that is coordinates of a now we have this uh, formula y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 since we have to find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to bc and passing through a y minus 8 is equal to slope is given 7 by 8 into x minus x1 on solving this you will get a uh, 7 x minus 8 y plus 43 equal to 0 so this is the equation of uh, the line if you don't know the coordinates of centroid of a triangle centroid is denoted by g and the coordinates of g are uh, x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 these are the coordinates if the straight lines 3x minus 5y is equal to 7 and 4x plus a y plus 9 equal to 0 are perpendicular to one another find the value of a that means these two lines are perpendicular okay this is 3x minus 5y equal to 7 and this is 4x plus a y plus 9 equal to 0 so we have this condition m1 into m2 
is equal to minus 1 for two lines when they are perpendicular to each other. So, I will find out the slope of the first straight line that is 3x minus 5y equal to 7, right? So, we have this formula for slope that is minus a by b. First, I will write it uh, 3x minus 5y minus 7 equal to 0. So, m1 will be uh, minus 3 divided by minus 5. this form. So, I will get 3 by 5 as the slope. Okay. And uh, for the second line that is 4x plus ay plus 9 equal to 0, slope will be minus 4 by a. So, I will put m1 into m2 equal to minus 1 that will be 3 by 5 multiply minus 4 by a equal to minus 1. On solving this, we will get a equal to uh, 12 by 5. Now, these are some DIY questions which you can solve and make sure to comment if you got both of them correct. You can also refer to previous year question. Uh, go to the website topellearning.com and from there you can practice previous year questions of mathematics. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. All the best.